Is it just me, or is it hard to agree with what you're trying to explain? I don't mind feather wings. No. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, my name is Casey. Today I'm going to be showing you an all-new poppery that is perfect for the holiday season. So. Whether it be Thanksgiving, Christmas, this is going to make your apartment or your house smell amazing and very festive. Now normally I just use regular plain water uh, for my potpourris, but today I'm actually going to use a tea infused base for my potpourri and I think it's going to add a nice new layer of smell good and I'm excited for it. Now if you haven't done so already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, it really helps me out and let's get into it. Alrighty guys, so these are the only ingredients you're going to need. Some Earl Grey tea bags, ground cardamom, an orange, whole cloves, and cinnamon sticks. And all this stuff is very easy to find at your grocery store. Alright, so this is the most complicated step in the potpourri, slicing the orange. Yes, very, very easy. Just make sure you slice your orange in very thin slices. This adds a lot of texture and color to your potpourri, as well as that nice citrus smell. And don't forget, you're going to need a saucepan. It doesn't really matter what size. This is just the one I had on hand that was clean, so it'll do. Next, you're gonna go ahead and fill the pot up with water. This is not an exact science, probably about two cups worth. Go ahead and put that on the stove and you're gonna crank the stove up to high heat just before boiling. So make sure you watch the water. So make sure you catch it right before boiling so that you can go ahead and steep your three bags of Earl Grey tea. And the tea is gonna steep for about three minutes before you add your next ingredient. First ingredient you're going to add to the tea is ground cardamom. Now this is organic cardamom. You don't have to use organic. It was the only thing they had left in the store, so it'll do. You're only going to need one tablespoon of the ground cardamom. And again, I just want to stress that nothing is an exact science of our potpourri. If you want to add a little more, a little less, it's a-okay. Next, we're gonna add in the whole cloves. This really adds a punch to your potpourri and smells incredible. Again, only one tablespoon, not an exact science, so don't worry about it if you spill. Next, you're going to add your orange slices. Not only are they beautiful in your potpourri, but they really do add a nice punch of citrus. And lastly, cinnamon sticks. I use three cinnamon sticks. If you only have ground cinnamon, that is totally fine. I'd put in about one tablespoon. Go ahead and bump it up from low to medium heat. And make sure you stir the potpourri periodically throughout the day to make sure the aroma is permeating your entire house. Alrighty guys, that is it. It's super simple, uh, very easy to do, kind of minimal ingredients that you might actually have in your house right now. Uh, but it smells incredible in here. I think the added layer of that Earl Grey tea made it chef's kiss it smells so good uh so i really recommend this uh for your holiday get togethers if you're hosting thanksgiving this year or christmas just pop this on the stove while your guests are there and it's gonna smell like the holidays <laughs> anyways guys go ahead and like and subscribe if you liked the video uh oh some tips 
If you want to keep it going throughout the day, just go ahead and keep pouring in water. You don't have to keep pouring in tea. That's kind of wasteful. Uh, just normal water will be fine to keep it going throughout the day. Put it on a low simmer. Uh, you don't want to burn the tea like I said earlier. And yeah, it should last you all day long. A lot of you have also asked me if you can drink it. Um, technically, there's nothing in there that is harmful for you, but if you are going to drink it, go ahead and get a very fine colander and pour it in. You know, sticks and pieces like to fall off at the bottom, but if you want to, technically, I think it's safe. Uh, but yeah, guys, have a great holiday season, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye! When I see you, my heart starts racing, but I don't know if I like this chasing and playing and waiting around. It's a shame that my hands start shaking.